to share a video I'm going to explain this easy facet of Solea of uh, Savicas from his Solea called uh, Bronze Gitano. This facet is easy and also is an exercise for your arpeggio, for your right hand. Right? So I'm, I'm going to start to uh, explain the right hand, first of all, then I will explain the left hand, there are easy chords, and like always at the end I will play it slow using a metronome. Right? Like always, you can find the tabs and sheet music in my website. Come on! We we'll start playing simultaneously with the thumb one bordon, for example the sixth string, and with the ring the first. Then with the middle I play the second, with the index the third. Then the thumb plays another bordon, for example the fifth. And now I play the arpeggio index, middle, ring, middle, index. Then I play again the same arpeggio like in the beginning, thumb and ring simultaneously. For example, now I'm playing with the thumb the fourth and middle index. And now I play with the thumb another string, for example, the fifth. And the end of the arpeggio is index, middle, ring. Okay? Uh, I'm playing with the thumb, sixth, fifth, fourth, and fifth. I'm gonna play it slow. I can change the position of the thumb, for example, now I'm going to start playing with the thumb the fifth, then the fourth, now the sixth, and then the fifth. Okay. Uh, for example, I can play first of all with the thumb on the fourth, on the sixth, fourth, or fifth. Right? right. Now I'm going to play the Faceta. Sorry. Again. Now there is one change. Okay, I'm repeating the arpeggio again and again, ending with the E chord. We start playing this nice chord that Savikas Sadek, that used to play: index on the second fret of the fourth string, middle on the third of the second ring, on the fourth fret of the sixth, and little finger on the fourth of the third string. Okay, this is a nice chord. And let's start playing with the thumb the sixth, and then the fourth. Now I play the A minor chord with the thumb on the fifth, then on the fourth. Right, let's repeat it. Now I play a half a ring on the third fret until the fourth string and ring a little finger on the fifth fret of the third and fourth string and middle on the fourth fret of the second string. And I play thumb on the fifth, then on the fourth. Now I slide one fret down the same position and thumb on the sixth and then on the fourth. But here at the end you can play this chord or you can play the second option. I used to play this last one. This is the another way of playing the E chord. It's like the, like a C chord with our Re on the fourth fret and I'm playing with the thumb the fifth and then the fourth. And why do I choose this chord? Because now we'll play the second part. Now you have to put 
to play by Ray on the fifth fret, ring on the little finger on the seventh of the C and third, and middle on the C of the second string. I'll play thumb on the C and then on the fifth. And be careful because now I'm changing the arpeggio. Now I'm playing the arpeggio on the second, third, and fourth string. Now I'll play this chord. Okay, ring on the seventh, little finger on the eighth, and again thumb on the sixth, and then on the fifth. Let's repeat it. Now we're ring on the third fret with the middle on the fourth fret of the sixth, and ring on the fourth fret of the third string. Thumb on the C's and again on the C's, right? Now at the end, A minor with the thumb on the fifth, repeating the arpeggio. Now this position, middle, ring a little finger on the third fret of the C's, fourth and second string. I repeat the arpeggio and now this chord. Index on the first fret of the sixth, ring on the third of the fourth, middle on the second of the um, third, and little finger on the fourth of the second string. And at the end, the close of the string. Right? Let's repeat this uh, second part. 